As with the rest of badminton at the elite level, competition within mixed doubles is fiercer than ever. China continues to dominate the world's top 10, but there are signs of change as other nations begin to stake their claim. Returning to front, Malaysia's challenge is its reinvigorated number one mixed tandem, Cham Peng Soon and Go Liu Ying. After an 11-month hiatus due to injury, the duo made their comeback last year and are inching back to the form that once saw them reach a career high of world number three. I was definitely happy, but I didn't want to expect too much because I wasn't sure of her recovery progress. There were still some doubts to whether she could still play like she did before. So ever since she got back, we have been cautious and continued to observe as we train. I was very nervous when I stepped on court. I wasn't sure if I could handle the competition. But I'm glad my partner was very encouraging and the coaches kept guiding me along. We were in the country's capital, Kuala Lumpur, recently to catch up with both Chan and Go as they relaunched their bid to be the force that they once were. When their partnership began back in 2008, it was one that heralded a new system in the national team's training setup. Back then, we didn't have a mixed doubles group. There were only women's doubles and men's doubles. So occasionally, all of us will come together and train as mixed doubles. At that time, our coach was Rexy Mainaki, and he decided to start a dedicated mixed doubles group. Chan and I were part of this pioneering batch. He's better in covering the court, and I'm better in finding opportunities to attack. The coach felt our styles were compatible, and eventually, we were paired together. It was to be an astute decision. The athleticism of Chan proved to be the perfect foil for the playmaking qualities of Go as the pair began to show their potential at the 2009 SEA Games. Finishing with the bronze medal, the Malaysians then clinched the Badminton Asia Championships title the year after. Their maiden triumph was far from a stroll in the park. They earned it under some trying circumstances. We were very happy and were very surprised that we won the Badminton Asia Championships title. It was very memorable because we never expected to be champions in a tournament that was so tough. In the semi-finals, our opponents were Indonesia's Liliana Natse and Devin Lahardi. And in the finals, we were up against Korea's Yu Yong-Song and Kim Min-Jung. Both pairs were stronger than us. In addition, she was injured in the finals, but we kept going and didn't give up. We were very thrilled and overjoyed when we realized that we had actually won. <laughs> 2011 saw Chan and Go snag the Bitburger Open before racking up more titles the following year, including a historic first World Super Series title in mixed doubles for their country in Japan. But their debut at the 2012 London Olympics was one to forget when they bowed out in the group stage. It was also at a time when they had to deal with a half-fit Go who was starting to struggle with knee injuries. After a quiet 2013 season and an uninspiring start to the next, Go decided to go under the knife, hoping to save her career. Chan was forced to play with a different partner. I was surprised and shocked when she told me that she wanted to undergo the surgery. After discussing with the coach, I accepted her decision and the prospect of a long absence. It was then decided that I should carry on playing, but with another player. At first, I wasn't used to my new partner. This is expected because she has her own style of playing and it was different from Liu Ying. When that partnership began, I started out feeling a little confused. I felt that if I continued to play without going for surgery, 
I can only play with 60 to 70 percent fitness, and that may cause my badminton career to stagnate. I wanted to fight for another chance to play in the Olympics. Finally, I decided to go for the surgery to give myself another opportunity to compete in the Olympics. That was the most difficult period for me. I was only able to watch the other players train while I spent hours in the rehab room. The Chan Go tandem finally made its long-awaited return last year. Triumphing in Poland, Mexico and Russia, plus playing a pivotal role in Malaysia's Sudirman Cup run, the duo didn't take long to get back in their groove. We do spend more time communicating on court. This is mainly because she hasn't been competing for more than a year. So initially, it took a bit of time for her to get back the rhythm and understand what's expected of her when covering the court. Together with the coach, we all try to manage the situation together. A silver medal at the SEA Games completed their 2015 comeback. And this year, they're building on their runners-up finish in February's Princess Sirivanavari Thailand Masters. The race to be at the Rio Olympics has given them more focus. I would love to win an Olympic medal. It doesn't matter what colour it is. In our first Olympics, we were under a lot of pressure and didn't know how to handle our nerves. I really hope we're able to perform better in our second appearance in Rio. With Chan Peng Soon and Go Liu Ying back in the swing of things, it can only be good news for Malaysia Badminton.